Hey guys, Russ here from Rec Media. Just wanted to bring you a quick video to do with the latest PlayStation update and the new ability that allows you to add external storage to your PS4. Now this is something that I've been really waiting for for a while now. Um, I found recently that I've had to uninstall a lot of games just to make space for the games that I want to play. Um, this obviously will overcome that now. So what I've got here is something I purchased from Amazon for about £60. Um, and this is a USB 3 2 terabyte Max Tor. Um, yeah, 2 terabyte hard drive, USB, um, USB 3 as I say. For the uh, hard drive to be accepted by the console, it has to be USB 3 or higher. So that's worth noting when you're looking to purchase one. Um, and it also has to be between 250 gigabytes and 8 terabytes. And as I say, this is a, a 2 terabyte one, uh, which should be more than enough really for now. Um, should allow me to at least download pretty much my entire library between this and my, my console itself. Performance wise, I've not had a chance to properly test it. Um, so I don't know how well the games will play off this. But as I say, the fact it has to be at least a USB 3 um, for the speed uh, should be fine. So this is quite a nice uh, nice hard drive itself. I think the, the sort of slightly slightly textured top uh, just gives it a nice a nice finish and as I say it, it sits nicely with, with the PS4 itself. Um, so setting these things up on the PS4 is a very simple process uh, and I'll show you through that now. Okay, so once the device is connected to the console, you'll see the pop-up at the top to let you know that the device's file system isn't supported. So what you need to do is you'll need to go to the settings um, and format the hard drive. So obviously you can't use a hard drive that you have things on. Um, if you do have things on it, they will be removed. So here we can see our storage currently just shows the system storage. So even though the console knows that the, the drive is there, it can't actually access inside it. So if you go down to devices, you'll see USB storage devices as the second option from the bottom. And there we can see my two terabyte M3 Seagate hard drive. Clicking on that, you'll get the option to format as extended storage. Now, as I say, this will actually change the structure of the internal um, internals of the hard drive. So it will make it basically a PS4 external hard drive and remove anything that's on it. So you get a couple of warnings about this, but if you have anything on this hard drive you want to keep, make sure you've taken it off before you do this process. So while it's formatting, it, you can't obviously remove it. And this is changing the internals of the drive to make it so saves, sorry, so your games can be added to the drive. I will note at this point, um, I did have a couple of issues when I first plugged this in, um, where it would find the, the it would find the drive, but my console would then tell me that it was an incompatible drive, even though I know it's fine. And it turns out that I just didn't plug it in fast enough. I know that sounds weird, but I think what it means is because I didn't actually plug it into the console quick enough, it didn't quite pick up the fact it was USB three. So don't panic if you at first don't get this um this process to come up just try unplugging it and plugging it back in again that should hopefully um, sort it out and as i say make sure it, it fits the exact specifications of usb 3 and between 250 gigabytes and 8 terabytes and you should be fine quick note there at the bottom it's, it says about when you want to disconnect it make sure you hold the ps button and from the quick menu you can select to stop using this extended storage. First time I actually wanted to take it out, I just pulled it out without thinking. Um, and it it warned me that I might have lost some data. Um, and then next time I plugged it in, it had to do a repair process, which doesn't seem to have lost any of the games I've installed on it. Um, <clears throat> but it could obviously have quite big side effects. So don't worry too much. Um, once you got it in, it should be fine. But if you did need to connect it, uh, sorry, if you did need to disconnect it, just make sure you use that prompt um, on the quick menu to safely do that. Okay, so once that's done, uh, you'll be returned to the screen and you'll see a small green light 
next to the storage device and that lets you know that it's in the correct format that the, the PlayStation can recognize. So now what we're going to do is we're going to jump back out and try and install a couple of games. So from your library, the process should be exactly the same. So what you'll do um, is you'll navigate to a certain game and as you can see all these games are uninstalled at the moment. Um, so this is just one thing that I'm really excited for is being able to actually come through and get some of these games back. So when I do fancy playing them they're just readily available. Um, so you'll see in a sec I find Wolfenstein which is one I want to come back to. So I hit, hit X on that tile and I'm going to get taken now to the usual screen with the download option. So you see here I don't actually pick where it goes to, it just downloads it for me. And you'll see in a moment, I think I'm going to go go forward and, uh, and sort of set something else going now. But you actually specify from the settings which device you want applications to be installed to. So each time you download an application, you don't pick, you just flag whether you want it to go to the system or the storage going forwards, essentially. So that I think that's quite a nice feature, it just allows you to, to, to sort of use the system as you always would have done in the past. Okay, so once they've finished installing, uh, you can use the options button to see where they've been installed, um, whether they've been installed onto the, the console or the external storage. So at the bottom, installed in, external storage. So we know that's worked. And if we go to the storage tab in the settings, we can now see the external, uh, the extended storage appears at the bottom. And you'll notice if you hit options, you've got the option to specify whether this is the location to install it, switch between the two. So if you suddenly find you've got plenty of space left on your on your console, you can move to there. So I hope that helps. Uh, thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next video.